Alright, man. Let's start, bro. Alright. Um, uh, continue our 32 team video series. Um, we're in the AFC North. Mm -hmm. Um, the tough AFC North. No. Um, yeah, this over the last decade, you know, they've been the black and blue division, you know, physical football. Bruisers. And um, one of the physical teams uh, in the past was the um, Baltimore Ravens. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to do a little past, present, and future. Um, their pass is a Ray Lewis, man. Ray Lewis in that defense, yo. Got him two Super Bowls. Mm -hmm. um, Ed Reed. Can't forget Ed Reed. Um, the, the Robin to Ray Lewis, Batman. You know what I'm saying? So they won two Super Bowls there. And, you know, the last Super Bowl they won was Joe Flacco, the quarterback. And yep. they paid him big money. Uh, yep. And Ray Paul Lewis. Brothers? Yeah. Yeah. Super Bowl. And they paid, him, they paid him big money, man. And ever since they paid him that money, you know, they haven't had the pieces around them, especially in the defense also. And that seems to be a trend that, that, that happens a lot where they play the quarterback and then they kind of just, uh, we'll figure the rest out. And the Ravens haven't figured it out. I mean, who, who, who are the receivers? Uh, yeah. Perriman, has Perriman been on the field yet? I haven't seen him. No, you haven't, haven't seen, seen him? him How's Aiken doing? He's all right? Is he, you I mean, know? They say he might have been the best receiver they had last yeah? year. Yeah, okay. You know, you Steve can, Smith you, got you, hurt. You, you can pick him up in fantasy. <laughs> you can have him. Um, I don't know how good this team is going to be. Um, they got hole, holes on the offensive side with the receivers. Who's the running backs? Uh, well, four set. Um, mm -hmm. they just drafted Kenneth Dixon, okay. and Buck Allen. And what that defense look like? That ever since Suggs so, so went down and it kind of changed the landscape. And remember, I saw a report with both of them. They said them boys ready to go. Apparently. Um, but what about the rest? What about the secondary? Yeah, I think the secondary is where, where it, the issue it, it, is. It's a big problem. Yeah. Um. I, I, I just don't know, man. Like I said, it's, it's the black and blue division. It's the bruiser division. I don't know if the Ravens are ready. I mean, I, I love Harbaugh. He's a good coach, but they got a lot of holes, man. It, I think I think if some of their 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 key players, because a lot of guys got hurt last year. Flacco got hurt. Forsett got hurt. Suggs got hurt. I, I think if if some of their their veterans stay healthy. And and Newsom, you know, outside of the receiver position, Newsom yeah. drafts very well. The, 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 some of those younger guys, the the, the, the Timmy Jernigans, you know, the the, the Kamala Correa that they drafted this year. Um, what's what's your boy's name out of Iowa? The big D tackle, Carl, Carl Davis. Davis. Yeah. They're, they're, I think I think they're going to be okay. They're going to be certainly better than they were last year if yeah. if those guys can stay healthy. They're going to compete. Whether or not they're good enough to to compete for a division. Title yeah. with, with the Steelers and the Bengals yeah, is yeah, a different different story. That's and, a different story. And we, we talk about the receivers, man. It's like it's a passing league right now, and they don't have it. They don't have the, the and, weapons, and they struggle to defend the pass as well. Yeah, yeah. It's a double whammy on both sides of the ball. Yeah, <laughs> that's 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 tough, man. That's 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 gonna be tough to watch. I mean. Flat, this guy Flacco, man. I mean, we we've seen Joe Cool during the playoffs. You know what I mean? He, he's you know, the best he, there is the best there was. But I mean, but but we we've, we've talked about this. We've talked about this. You know, defense wins championships, but in in this era, in this passing era, you, you have to score points during a regular season in order to, to to secure home field advantage and 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 to to be able to set yourself up to make a deep playoff run. You got to score points. You have to be able to outscore your opponent. You know, a few times throughout the season, and and the Ravens don't possess any explosiveness on offense. They don't. If if only Joe Flacco could play in a regular season like he plays in the playoffs, because yeah. in the playoffs it's like kind of like Eli Manning esque. You know, yeah. it's just in the playoffs they're just different players. You know, in the regular season Joe Flacco kind of struggles to 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 get the ball down the field and, and things of like that, and it doesn't help that he doesn't have the receivers. Yeah. Also, so. You know. Yeah, and, and the defense, while I think there's talent, particularly in the front seven, it's not as good as it was during, you know, the, the heyday of, of a sizzle of a Ray Lewis and Ed Reed and you know, you name the corner, name their top corner, whether it be a McAllister or or or, you know, even Jimmy Smith a couple of years ago had a really solid season. He's kind of fallen off, whatever the case may be. So, you know, you need your your, your big money quarterback to play better and, and he hasn't. He hasn't, you know lived up to to the, the salary yeah. he has it he has not you know the timing of that super bowl coincided with perfect for him with the contract with the new contract and and he and he lit yeah. he lit as an agent you don't want to know you don't want it any other way but but like that yeah so what, what we think about the future man to me you 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 gotta you gotta believe in in, in newsome you you gotta ride the newsome train and 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 unfortunately for them you know this this year there wasn't they weren't in a position to 
you know, draft a receiver that would that would help them. You know what I'm saying? Newsom is the kind of guy who's gonna trade back, trade back, or just yeah, draft the value, yeah. Yeah, you know, best of the value, you know, draft best player available. And hopefully you, you just gotta hope that you lick and that uh, a receiver falls to you or you know, maybe Aiken shows up, you know, maybe, maybe Perriman gets on the field this year, you know, uh, but I, I'm riding the Newsom train all, all day. Just, you just got to be patient with that team so you can get it together. You believe in Ozzy, man, and Ozzy going to get them back. Well, the, the Ravens, the Ravens in, in their fairly brief history are generally a playoff team, you know, but the Bengals have come a long way, you know what I mean? The, the, the Steelers... Obviously, we, we're, we're familiar with their offensive power, power and, and we'll talk about the Steelers. But the defense is starting to, to, to slowly get better, that, that young core on defense. So the Ravens have work to do. They have work to do. And, and fortunately for them, they do have Ozzie Newsom. Definitely, man. So I guess this wraps up the um, Baltimore Ravens. Um, you can find us at CouchPotatoGM.com. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, CouchPotatoGM. Um, with iTunes, we've got podcasts for you. You know, we're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yo, we everywhere. You can find us, man.